Greetings and salutations, relaxed gamer nation, and welcome back to Solo Survival on Pertam. Um, I really need to move away from here. Uh, yeah. I am uh, getting the feeling of, um, moving. But before we do that, well, this is something else I wanted to work on. Here. Oh well. That's something for another time. So I collected up a bunch of stuff here. Um from some wrecks that came by. I lifted them and moved them with this little thing and this kind of got broken, so I kind of it it, it looks like a clown right now. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to turn on the grinders. Flip that down and close this up. Lots of explosions and things flying out. <laughs> blender oh that's it man this uh this grinding pit is so awesome so awesome except when things fly out of it but that's just how it goes sometimes right Try not to grind too many things down here. Um, right. So I'm getting better at making these trailers. And uh, I will probably remake our little uh, uh, home trailer. Um, or I might actually do like a, a big ship, large ship, um, sorry, a small ship, big ship hybrid. That would actually be pretty awesome. Um, probably not to the same extreme as like a full refinery like this, but maybe something along the lines of something smaller. So we still have that problem with um, with the basic refineries being crap. And it's better to just put stuff into a survival kit. And build a large refinery as soon as you can. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be able to do a large refinery on here. I think it's just going to be too tall because this... One, two, three... So if we go all the way up there, it's one, two, three. Yeah, that's. You know, we can't can't quite work that. Um, it might be better just to load up stuff in a trailer and move on, like I've been trying to do, but I keep on getting sidetracked. That's how it works sometimes. Uh, we have a new facility over in that direction that's launching drones at us. Uh, there's not much I can do about it right now because, well, it's sandy. Might be able to rest until the morning. Yes. I don't know if that's going to do much, if the sandstorm is going to disappear quickly. I highly doubt it because... Even though you're using the sleep thing, time doesn't quite uh, pass as quickly as... Oh, it worked. That's kind of funny. Okay. So yeah, we have another uh, facility somewhere over there. Um, maybe I will take a cruise missile out. Since we have one that's completely full. And remote 
access, small grid. Whee! Hey, I like this little cruise missile torpedo thing. Assert Sparrow. Did I attack it last time? I did, but it didn't get through. Well, that was super accurate. <laughs> Just like totally winged me. We have a fleeting rival incoming. That's always fun. It shouldn't get too far. Let's just close this up. I almost died. Let's repair that up. Yeah, that fleeting rival almost landed right on my head. Now, how do I avoid my drone getting getting destroyed like that? Is there something? Ooh, okay. I really need to look into possibly putting a safety sensor there. Because if I put a piece of glass here, going, I'm going to have to extend the drone, the thingy out further. Mm, I don't think that's worth it, though. What I need, he needed some sort of small ship bulldozer thing to push these into the, the grinding pit. Okay, so I noticed something. I don't have a turret on this. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but it could be better. And I don't really have any cargo access either. Well, that, that can be fixed pretty quickly. Like right here from the front, I can fix it pretty quickly to get a little bit of a cargo access. Put a turret on. Now, I do have a turret on here, so that's not necessarily that bad. How is our cruise missile doing for power? 20%? That is good. Um, Can I be sneaky about this? I doubt it.
gotcha. <laughs> I got it. I got the antenna. Damage it did. Oh, that's a skimmer. Crap, I'm not in the open. Bad place to be. Okay, so. There it is. What? No, that can't be right. There's one of my cruise missiles. Where was the antenna? Really? Did it do that much damage? You might have. That's that's a win in my book. Uh, that's why it was so accurate because it's got one of these heavy guns on. Okay. Oh look, more scrap. Got some sparrows. It is bouncing around. Fuel low. Oops. Fuel low. Fuel critical. That is weird. I think my save might be bugged. That's never nice to hear. Bottle of hydrogen. Wait, hold on. Wait, why are you not filling? You're connected. The refineries. The basic refineries. Okay. Don't know why the bottle isn't filling. Because everything's green here, and this has ice in Oh, wait. Did I lose my oxygen generator somehow? Or did I tear it down and forget to rebuild it? That's actually quite likely. Or is it underneath the base? That's also quite likely. I guess I could just put it in here. Oh, what the hell is going on here? My controls are all wonky again. 
two generator. Something like that. It's weird. I must have got rid of my L2 generator somewhere and I never rebuilt it. So that's awesome. Okay, so we took out a base. We have another missile ready. Like, really ready. Where can we go with this? Um, we could go finish off that other base thing. I control. That is my bridge base over there. Over here is another base, which will probably send some retaliation forces. This is scrap. Watchtower. Now, I don't recall, does it have, uh, I don't think it has turrets or doesn't have any turrets anymore. I think I might have tested a missile over here too. Before I got the uh, the warhead situation figured out. Sneak up on the watchtower. The onion run! Oop, up we go, and away we go. Armed warheads. Oh, it's still there. I guess we can go investigate. Nothing wrong with that, right? Ooh, but it is a ways away, but I think it's on this side of a of the canyon. I think. There's a bridge. Yeah, it's on this the, the proper side of the canyon, but it's uh Wonder if it's gonna send a retaliation strike at me. Probably. <laughs> he did last time anyway. Like it reach. Oh, that's cool. That's one less thing I gotta worry about. Leveling it off. Okay, we need to get some things fixed up over here. Uh, we need some grid. Not grid. Uh, girder. Girder.
So we're gonna put this back in. I have no idea how that broke. Oh, for sake. Construction component, really? Well, that went well. So, space engineers crashed on me. As you may have noticed. And that kind of sucks because... It was when lightning started that it crashed on me, and I am worried that might actually be a problem. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... What are we doing now? Oh, no. Um, I should probably take supplies over to the bridge base. Probably. Might not be a bad idea. But what supplies should I be taking over there? Uh, lots of steel plates for sure. Stuff for power, probably. Let's grab as many steel plates as I can hold. Since that's not connected to a uh, system. Cargo system, I can do it this way easily. So there's really no point for me to be building that bridge and I haven't made a uh, um, um, template projectable template yet because hmm. that's probably going to be nece uh, necessity You have plenty of materials that I can play around with. Grab as many of you as possible. I am going to need some magnesium. I think that's one of the reasons why I came back here. It's been so many episodes that I completely forgot uh, why I'm here. <laughs> I know, crazy. Uh, those always but I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll uh, see you over at the bridge base in a moment so I discovered a little bit of a problem with my trailer design here. Uh, it bottoms out. <laughs> Which probably isn't necessarily a serious thing, but it is a concern. Uh, let's lock that down. Actually, I should probably back it up. Yeah, I should probably back it up. Just so the connector is... pointed in the right direction. Whoop. Okay, that was a little too far. 
Watch me horribly drive this thing. Follow me. That's yeah, good. Lock that down. Extend these bad boys. Lock it down. Oh, I can't because we are too high off the ground. Okay. So we're back at the bridge base, so I think the next bunch of episodes is going to be uh, uh, doing stuff here. Uh, I don't know what stuff we're going to be doing here. Uh, we de Oh, wow. We have like 15k ice in there. It's crazy. But we do know we need to get our uh, power system finished off here. We have a decoy, and I think we need to get our decoy blocks finished off over here. And then we're going to build a little bit of an interior. Maybe start putting down some... Oh. Maybe putting down some more blocks. Maybe I will actually build a projector thingy to project the... I'm thinking I should probably put it on a hinge. I can do that. But yeah, we got a little bit of work to do around here. We ought to get to our power system... Uh... Stabilized, I guess. Where's my battery? Do I? Have, yeah, I do have a battery. And it is on recharge. So we're just going to put that on auto. Um, what's the power like on this trailer? Battery. Oh, it didn't have a lot left. Ooh, it was pushing out a lot of power. That's, that's not good. At least my battery's charged up here. Uh, now. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end it there. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.